time now for answers to your plant questions. And joining me, Carrie Engel from Hello. Valley View Farms. Nice to have you as always. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. You brought a Christmas cactus. Yep, the Christmas cactus inevitably blooms sometime between Halloween and Thanksgiving. It just seems to be the way Go they figure. are. <laughs> um, so they're looking good right now. Uh, beautiful colors, pinks and purples and reds and white. It's just a nice plant. Um, and I think it's one of those plants that thrives on benign neglect. Mm -hmm. So you I like put that it, kind. Yeah, put it away in another room when it's not in blooming. Mm -hmm. It not yeah whatever and comes. Around. We actually have a question about that in a moment. So okay. we'll get to that sure. coming up. But first, when should I plant my amaryllis in time for Thanksgiving or Christmas? I'd probably start now, but when you go to buy the amaryllis, you know, if they're in a box, peek in there and just see if they started growing. If they've started, they're going to just come on really, really fast. If they haven't, just look for some green growth right at the bulb tip. Okay. Um, and I'd say now's a great time to get started. You can always slow it down a little bit by giving it a little bit less light, keeping it a little bit cooler. Okay. Uh, I want to replant my terranium. What kind of plants are most suitable? There's a lot of things. I love ferns. They do great. If you have a terrarium that's maybe a little higher in elevation and not necessarily really humid, there are beautiful succulents like echeveras that work beautifully. Um, the ferns, again, are my favorite. But hypoestes, there's all sorts of like dwarf house plants okay. uh, because the big ones get too big. I said terrarium, but it's terrarium. terrarium what is right. the difference? I don't know. Okay. Said, all right. <laughs> Either or. Right. They're interchangeable, maybe. <laughs> okay, my Christmas cactus is already blooming. How should I care for it to extend bloom time? Well, be a little bit careful, especially if you're going in and out of the house with it. So, you know, if it's nice like it is today, it can certainly go outside. Uh, but cold temperatures really will stop it and hurt. It's a tropical plant. Um, just give it plenty of light. Water it when it's dry to the touch. Once you do lose the blooms, you can even back off on the, the water a little bit more. Okay. And again, benign neglect. Put it in a room you kind of forget about, and it does its job. So I'm curious. A lot of people are already preparing to decorate for Christmas this coming week yes. in advance <laughs> of Thanksgiving. It happens earlier and earlier. But so what are you getting? People coming in a lot at Valley View and requesting ideas? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're taking a look around. A lot of people are doing outdoor lighting right now because the weather is so mild. It's a good time to get out there. I think they're holding off on the live trees and everything yet, mm -hmm. uh, but they're going to be showing up at stores uh, like any day. Okay. And we <laughs> love it when you bring in the poinsettias. Okay. So well, good. When is that going to happen? I think that's going to happen the Monday after Thanksgiving from okay. what I hear. Yeah. And those, how do you care for them? You know, most of those, they like to be warm when they're growing, but but once you get them into an area, if you have them at like 70 degrees, they love it. Uh, again, just water them when they're dry to the touch and don't ever let them sit in water. So we put them in those nice little coverings and that makes it tougher to water, but they really, you know, they do, they do really well. You're always so nice to deliver them, but then we're left to care for them. We're kind of like, <laughs> eh, what do we do now? Well, anyway, I, 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 know, I know Joe does a great job with that. Joe will take care <laughs> of that, right. our floor director. Thank you so much, Thank Carrie. You. Nice to have you as always.